Hello, welcome to Maths with Jay. Here we're going to be using an affine cipher. We're using modular arithmetic and you can see that I've already written out a conversion table. So we're going to be using modulo 26. So we're using the numbers from 0 up to 25 to represent the letters from A to Z. So, for example, if we wanted the word maths, so starting with the letter M, we'd be representing that by 12, and then A is 0, and T is 19, and then H, 7, and finally the letter S would be 18. So there's a simple word represented just by using this conversion table. So what we want to do is to encipher the word and we're going to use a rule. So when we're doing modular arithmetic, what we do here for the affine cipher is we use a rule for enciphering, so E for enciphering, and we'd multiply X by something. So we've got A and then add something on and we're in mod 26. So in this example, I'm going to choose to take A as 3. So the rule we're going to use is to multiply X by 3 and then B will be 1. And that's in mod 26. So that means our word is going to become, well, I've got to multiply each of my numbers by 3 and add 1. So the letter M we said was going to be 12. So we're going to multiply 3 by 12 and then add 1. So that's 36 plus 1 is 37. Now we're in mod 26. So we're going to take 26 away from 37 and that will give us 11. So that's the first letter. Next one, really easy to do because it was zero, wasn't it? So three times zero plus one will be zero plus one is one. And then we've got 19. So three 19s plus one. So that's 57 plus one is 58. And so we're going to subtract two lots of 26. So subtracting 52 from 58 will give us six. And then the next one was seven. Three sevens plus one is 22. That's less than 26, so that will just stay as 22. And finally, three 18s plus one. So that's going to be uh, 54 plus one is 55. Take away 52 is three. So we have enciphered our original word. So if we want to use the um, conversion table to write this back, uh, something that, well, it won't really look like a word, will it? Let's have a look at what it would be. So 11 would be L, 1, B, 6 would be G, 22 is W, and 3 would be D. So the idea would be that we would send that code to somebody and they would need to decipher it. So they would need a rule to decipher the message. So if you look back at our enciphering rule, we were multiplying by three and adding one. So if this was ordinary arithmetic, you would be able to, to reverse that and you would know that you would need to be able to, first of all, subtract one and then divide by three. But in modular arithmetic, we don't have any division, do we? So the big problem is, how are we going to reverse the multiplying by three? So the next thing we need to do is to find a multiplicative inverse of three so that we can multiply by that. So we're looking for a number that we can multiply by to reverse the effect of multiplying by three. So the next thing we need to do is to find a multiplicative inverse of three in mod 26. So we'll do that next time. 